What's up guys, Dave here from Knives, Gadgets, and More, and today we're going to unbox and review a knife. Alright guys, so as you can see here, we have a box that says Ethan Grow, and I was looking around on Amazon, and I noticed these Ethan Grow knives, um, and they seemed like decent quality. They also seemed like they were getting good reviews and that people were happy with them. So I wanted to pick one up and, um, and see for myself if I think it's a good knife or not. So we're going to unbox it. We're going to take a look at the different features and then hopefully by the end it'll give you a good idea of what this knife has to offer. And if it's something that you're interested in, then, um, then hopefully this review will help you out. But let's get to unboxing it. So I'm pretty sure this is a Chinese knife and the boxing looks kind of old fashioned actually. Yeah, made in China. You can see the model there. This is the Ethan Grow EF963 um, and it's taped closed. So let's get another knife and open it up. We're gonna use the good old Kaiser Sheepdog. All right, here we go. There we go. Okay. All right, we get a little cloth and a knife and a bag. Okay, and here it is. All right, so first impressions. Oh, it looks like there's a little oil on it. Hold on, let me wipe this off. All right, guys, so right off the bat, I am kind of impressed with this knife, especially considering that it's super affordable. Now, before buying it, I did do some research on it. So let's go through the main features of it and I'll give you my thoughts about it. So first of all, the steel. The steel that they use in this knife is D2. And if you've watched any of my knife reviews, then you know that I'm a big fan of D2 steel in affordable knives, because D2 is just awesome. It's super strong, it holds an edge well, it takes a good edge, and there it is right there, D2. So great job on using D2 steel for the blade. I think that's excellent on a budget knife. You can also see the Ethan Grow logo right there, which doesn't look bad. It's a lot better than <laughs> the, the way this old fashioned box looks. <laughs> All right, so, so like I said, D2 steel is great. I really like that you get a decent steel on the blade. Now, as for the blade shape, like I said, this is the EF963 and it has kind of a cool blade shape. It's kind of unique. I don't know if you call that a drop point or some other type of blade shape. I don't know the specifics of it that well, but to me it looks good, looks functional. You've got a good point and a good cutting edge on it. In terms of sharpness, not super sharp straight out of the box, but it is sharp. It's sh definitely sharp enough for you to carry it around and to use it. But yeah, I kind of like the blade shape because I think it looks cool and I think it'll do just fine on EDC cutting tasks. Now the scales that come on this knife are G10 and I love G10 scales. It's probably my favorite material for a knife handle just because it's fairly lightweight, it's very comfortable and it looks cool. And for this knife, you got a fairly straight handle, but I'm holding it here and it is very comfortable. I don't feel any hot spots. We got a little bit of jimping right here. We've got this clip right here, which we'll talk about, but you can feel the clip, but it's not digging into anything. And yeah, you can get a pretty good solid grip on this knife. You do have a little lanyard loop right here at the back, a little spacer. Yeah. So yeah, I think the handle's good. It's comfortable. It's also fairly slim in terms of profile, which is gonna make it a little bit easier to carry. So yeah, I think the handle's pretty good and um, it feels good in your hand. 
Now the mechanism for deploying the blade on this knife is right here. And that is basically, it's basically a knockoff version of the Benchmade Axis. And the Benchmade Axis is an awesome, it's an awesome locking mechanism. On this knife, it does deploy fairly smooth. It gets a little, when you close it right here, it gets a little stiff. I know there's dudes that deploy the axis by just holding it down and flicking it out. I don't know if I can do that or not. Let me try. Okay. So I kind of did it in slow-mo, but <laughs> I have another uh, cheap knife. It is a, okay, it does get hung up a little bit right there. But even the, even with that, okay. I gotta practice it, guys. <laughs> any, uh, if you have any pointers, let me know in the comments. So I think with more practice, um, I could get a lot better at deploying this blade quickly with the axis lock mechanism. It is smooth, and that's what I really wanna highlight for you. It's actually really smooth, and you don't have to deploy it like that. You have this kind of um, hole or cutout right here, which, let me see if I can get it, my thumb on it. Yeah, you can deploy it slowly, very easily with your thumb. Or if you're a ninja, you can get the uh, axis lock flick out and do it that way. I'm not a ninja, but I think this knife is definitely smooth enough in terms of deployment where you can easily do that. I have had some other cheap knives with a fake axis lock and they're super stiff. So there's no way you'd be able to do that. And I really like that this knife, um, it's very affordable and the axis lock is still smooth. So that's really cool. That's, um, that's something I just found out now using it and it's something that I'm really happy to report to you because it just sucks when the deployment on a knife is not smooth. Those are the knives in my collection that kind of, that I just forget about and that I never carry or actually use. Now the clip that you get is also very good in my opinion. As you can see right here, it's a deep carry clip. That means it's gonna sit fairly low in your pocket and I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute, but I like deep carry clips. I like them when I can get them and I'm glad to report that this knife has one. It does set you up for tip up carry as you can see and there's no real way to put the clip up here. Let's see if it's reversible to the other side. It doesn't look like there's any holes pre-drilled. Maybe you could figure out a way to do it, but it'll be a little bit harder than just, than simply unscrewing it and flipping it to the other side, if that's something you want. All right, so let me show you what it looks like in the pocket. Let's see how, how low it sits and, um, and get an idea of what it will be like to carry this knife around. All right, there it is. So yeah, with the deep carry clip, it sits really low. Not as low as some other knives with deep carry clips because you do have a little bit of the knife edge sticking up, but that's okay. That's not a big deal to me. Just my kind of first impressions here. I think this knife will be easy to carry around. Now I obviously just unboxed it here, so I've never actually carried it around. But like I said, just initial impressions here. I think it's gonna be a fun knife to carry around. I think it'll be very easy and I don't think it's gonna be bulky or, or be uncomfortable as you're carrying it around um, all day in your pocket. Now I do wanna give you an idea of the size of this knife cause it's not a super small knife, but I do think it's a good size for everyday carry. And yeah, let's just get an idea of how big this knife actually is. So here's my quarter, cause everybody knows how big a quarter is. And let's measure it out with the tape measure as well. All right, so it looks like we're almost at an overall length of eight inches, maybe a little bit less. Blade, three and a half inches maybe. And then handle, maybe about four and a half. So it's a good size knife. Not the biggest, not the smallest. 
It's not gonna be super bulky if you carry it around in a pocket. I can tell you that much. All right, guys, so I've unboxed it and I've kind of handled it for a little bit. So to sum it all up, my impressions of this knife, well, first of all, I like the blade steel. The blade steel is D2, and I think that's an awesome steel, especially considering that this is a very affordable knife. I also like the blade shape. I think it's super cool looking and it's pretty unique. I like the scales. I like the whole handle design. It looks cool. It's kind of straight, which is unique. And it's also comfortable in your hand and allows you to get a good grip on the knife. I do like that you get a deep carry clip. I do wish it was reversible to the other side, but for me, I'm a right-handed dude, so that's just fine for me. And even if it wasn't, I think, I think I'd be okay carrying it around. I do like the deployment cutout on the blade. I think it looks cool and it is functional. And I also like the axis lock system that they put on this knife. It is a smooth uh, axis lock kind of replica, which is not always the case on these affordable knives. And yeah, I think they did a really good job with that. I like that you get a smooth deployment. So yeah, so overall, I think this is a pretty good quality affordable knife. I'm looking forward to carrying it around and using it. If I notice any issues, I'll definitely report that to you. But yeah, for just a few bucks, this thing is kind of a no-brainer. <laughs> and if it's something that you're eyeballing, all I can tell you is that I think it's pretty cool and I think it's worth the price that I paid for it. Now, if you do want to pick up one of these uh, Ethan Grow knives, I will leave a link in the description below. That is an affiliate link and it does help out the channel. But other than that, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya!